Hey folks, let's talk about voltage offsets today. I wanted to make this video to illustrate and provide examples of how offsets work, especially for somebody who may not have this helpful utility in their system yet, and they're trying to wrap their head around how, uh, how it works and what it can be used for. So to start, Let's uh, look at two oscillators. We have one on the bottom here. And this oscillator provides continuous, uh, it allows us to continuously sweep the frequency range of the oscillator all the way up into incredibly high rates that we can't even hear and uh, all the way down into LFO range where we're not perceiving it as audio anymore, we're just hearing these voltage spikes. And then let's look at the oscillator up here, our upper oscillator, which um, provides us with much more precise control. The, the tuning knob here doesn't even give us a full octave of uh, frequency range to sweep through. And then it, it does have these, these octave switches. Which is really helpful because it makes it easy to tune. But what if we wanted the same functionality that we have below with that like master tuning knob and uh, we wanted to get that out of the module above? Well, it's not directly available to us on the front panel, but we can use a voltage offset to get that out of it. So I'm getting my offset from a Make Noise Maths. Um, the way it works is if they're these, uh, these middle two channels here, if there's nothing plugged into them, then they act as voltage offsets. So I'm going to take the second channel, plug it in to the, uh, the volt per octave input on this upper oscillator. And, uh, you know, typically we would plug like a pitch control voltage in here and that would give us chromatic control of the oscillator from a keyboard. But remember that everything in your system is a voltage. So by plugging a voltage offset in there, we turn it back up. Now we can sweep with our offset over here. we can access the full range of this oscillator from one knob and uh, we can get those incredibly high frequencies and we can even go into, uh, you know, mild LFO rates, which, which isn't necessarily even available with these controls on the front panel. So, just with this, perhaps we begin to see how voltage offsets can uh, give us manual control of some aspect of a module that's not necessarily um, available to us from the controls on the front panel. Now to, uh, to give an even more specific example, let's switch over to looking at some voltage controlled filters. Um, the one we've been listening to this whole time is here. We have this master uh, this master control that controls the cutoff frequency of our filter. And this is quite full featured. It, it provides voltage mixing as well. Um, but then up here, it's actually a bit hard to see, but it's this module right here, not this one. This is a, a dual low pass gate. And uh, a low pass gate is like a VCA and a voltage controlled filter coupled together. So it controls the volume and the cutoff frequency of, uh, you know, the signal that you pass through it. And uh, the controls, you know, it's a very tiny module. The controls, well, there aren't really any controls. They're just a, there's just a signal input, there's a signal output, and then there's a, a control voltage input to control the amplitude and the cutoff frequency of the sound. So... A typical usage of this is to plug in like a, a plucky envelope into the control voltage input. And then if we take a listen, um, 
And the cool thing is that this upper low pass gate is mildly resonant. So in here, we have like a, a fixed resonant low pass filter available to us, um, but no controls to play with on the panel. But we can change that by uh, augmenting it with a voltage offset. So let's take our offset from earlier. I'm going to use a different channel of the mass that provides a, a slightly smaller voltage range. We'll plug our voltage offset into the control voltage input, turn it up, and uh, if we zero out the offset, we don't hear anything because uh, it's zero volts, so the, the circuit is closed. But now we can sweep this filter manually, and because it has that mild resonance, you get a little bit of that bite to it. sounds manually. Find some sweet spots. Um, and you notice again that control that we established with the offset is very similar to the master frequency or master cutoff control of our, of our filter over here. And uh, to go just a bit further, if we look at this filter, we have our cutoff set manually by this control. We can, of course, patch in that same rhythmic envelope from earlier. We can control its intensity with the mixing that's provided on the front panel. So this is essentially a voltage offset, this master frequency knob. And this is, you know, a, a voltage attenuator for our envelope. Well, we can get this same complex functionality out of our, you know, very simple low-pass gate. So let's take this voltage offset and just run it into a voltage mixer. This is a mixer that just lets us mix both audio signals, which are of course voltaged, and uh, you know um, control voltage signals. So first, we just simply repatch our our voltage offset here with the uh, the value turned up to like its maximum value. Plug that into the control voltage input of our low pass gate. And we once again manually sweep the cutoff frequency. And now we can take our, our looping envelope from earlier and plug that into the mixer. Now we effectively have the same controls that we had over here with our low pass gate. Right, so our uh, voltage offset sets like the, the initial uh, position of the cutoff frequency. And this control in our mixer controls the intensity of our looping envelope. So now we've exposed this additional functionality with uh, some helpful utilities in our system, and uh, that was that was pretty much what I wanted to demonstrate. I hope. It's helpful for you. I uh, hope it gives you an idea of how voltage offsets work. It's, it's like a, it's it's manual control over some aspect of a of a module that you you may not have uh, available on the front panel. Um, of course, it can be used in many many other ways, but I thought that might be the simplest way to look at it. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps you out. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.